everybody, it's Brittany. Welcome to my kitchen. So today I'm going to be making fish franchise. Yep, it's similar to chicken franchise, but instead I'm going to be using fish, and I'm also going to be adding artichokes and capers and tomatoes, so it's extra special. This is a really great recipe for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm also going to be making couscous on the side, and I'm going to put some herbs and some cheese in it going to be great, so let's get started. Okay, so the ingredients you're going to need for the fish franchise is a um, can of artichoke hearts, um, some fresh fish, today I'm using fresh tilapia, some flour, flour is right underneath, some butter, some capers, salt, pepper, some white wine, some olive oil, a fresh tomato, a lemon, an egg, and some broth. Unfortunately, I'm all out of fresh stock, so I'm using bouillon cube today. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I got all my ingredients set up here. It's important when you're making franchise that you have all your ingredients ready to go because this moves very quick and you're at the stove the whole time. So I have my fish in the flour. I have my egg ready to go, my egg wash. I have my butter, my olive oil, salt, pepper, my wine, and I have my ingredients chopped up and ready to go. This is uh, freshly squeezed lemon juice. I didn't use the whole lemon. I used um, three quarters of the lemon. So I used half of half of a lemon and half of a half. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pan nice and hot and I'm going to throw some olive oil and some butter in it. Butter for flavor. When you see that the foam starts to go down, that means that it's just about ready. So let's get the fish ready. Okay, so what I'm going to do with the fish is first I'm going to dip it in flour and I'm going to give it a good dip, make sure that it, every part of it is really good. And then I'm going to dip it in egg. And now most people when they make chicken franchise, that's it. They put from the egg to the pan, but what I like to do is I like to flour it one more time. Just because I like it crispy, and it's a little different. It's not chicken franchise. It's a take on it. Okay, so flour one more time. And this is a messy job, but you know what? It's worth it. Okay, here goes. And that's a good sound. All right, I'm going to flip the first side. Doesn't have to go for too long. And just be gentle because it is fish. And doesn't that look great? And it doesn't have to be cooked all the way through, and you'll see why. You just really want the outer layer browned, um, and you want to really just cook it for about maybe one to one and a half minutes on each side. So I'm going to remove the fish from the pan, and I'm going to get rid of some of the excess oil, because we don't need all of it. I'm going to throw in my capers first because I want them to fry and I want them to pop. When capers hit a really hot pan, they pop open and they taste really, really good. Okay, so I see them, that they're popping open. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the wine sure your pan's nice and hot. It's like deglazing. Pop 
probably added about a half a cup, one fourth cup to a half a cup, and I'm going to let this reduce. Okay, the wine reduced quite a bit. So now I'm going to add the tomatoes and the artichoke. And I don't want to really get these cooking too much. I want to just get them warm through, basically. So now what I'm going to add is the lemon juice and the stock. First I'm going to add the stock, and I'll show you why. With the lemon juice, I'm going to take some flour, and I'm going to add a little bit of flour into the lemon juice and I'm going to give it a good mix. Probably about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half. I've never measured this recipe before, so, you know, I'm just eyeballing it. Okay, give it a good mix. This is going to help thicken the sauce. But you want to mix the flour in because if you don't do that, the flour is going to clump really bad when it hits the sauce, and you don't want that. Okay, so that sauce is looking really, really nice. We have it on really high heat because we want everything to reduce. So now we're going to add the lemon juice and flour mixture, and you're going to see it start to thicken and reduce. and it's thickened and it looks absolutely beautiful. I just lowered the heat. This is about the consistency that you want for this sauce. Um, you don't want it too thick because typically it's really not that thick. And I made some couscous on the side, which I think is great because you can put the sauce over the couscous and it tastes really good. Another really good side dish for this is polenta. It's amazing. So the last thing I'm going to do and you should finish this with most of your sauces that you make, is I take a tab of butter, and I'm just going to mix it in there. Okay. Okay. You see how when I, when I pull the spatula through, it makes a line. That means that the sauce is perfect. And I gave it a taste, of course, and it tastes really good. It's not too sour. It's just right. Um, I also added salt and pepper while you were gone. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my fish back in. And I'm going to cover it. And I'm going to put it on low and I'm just going to let my fish cook for maybe one more minute. That's it. And then it's finished. You don't want to overcook your fish. My dinner is finished. I have the fish franchise with the artichokes, capers, and tomatoes. And I have the herb and cheese couscous. And I just topped it off with a little bit of the sauce I made. And I'm just serving it with a side of broccoli. So I hope you give these two recipes a try. Let me know how they are. And if you want me to make anything else, please let me know. I'll post both recipes in their description box. So, bye-bye. It's -bye. cooked absolutely perfectly. It's not overcooked at all, and it's still really nice and juicy. And getting fresh fish really helps. And I also wanted to mention that use a white fish for this recipe because you're frying it. You don't really want an oily fish for it. You want a nice light fish. Um, and the couscous is excellent. All right, so I'm going to give it one more try. Mmm. It is unbelievable. Give this recipe a try and let me know how it is. Enjoy. Bye. I came along when he broke your heart. That's when you needed.